Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. It's been a long time uh, due to my exams, but we're back again, uh, at least for this week. Uh, I'll be showing you how to update your rooted Nexus 6P from the NVD90X build of Android to the new preview of 7.1.1, I believe it is, the NPF10C. So this will be, uh, we'll be doing this whilst maintaining root and of course keeping data as well. So of course, uh, as usual, you wanna back up everything uh, before. And of course, we're just gonna quickly go over here and check that we are indeed on the NVD90X. As you can see down there, we are. And we're gonna get started right away. We're gonna be using Fastboot to do this. Um, just because uh, I like the feel of typing. So we're gonna go over to our computer and we're gonna have to download a couple of things, of course. So of course, let's go to our computer now. Uh, we're gonna have to download, of course, the Android Tools folder. Now this is just the zip file that contains our ADB and Fastboot executables. So when you download it, it looks a little something like this. Uh, if I just open this up real quick. So it has the adb.exe, we have uh, Fastboot, and of course we have the two DLLs that we need. So that's the first thing you're gonna to want to download. Uh, you just need the version 1.0.3.2 or higher, not 0.2, but 3.2 uh, or higher. Um, you can check this by typing in ADB version. But if you download it from my download link here, you'll probably have, you're, you're going to have the latest version or at least a quite recent version. Uh, not the latest one. I believe there's a new build of that or um, revision or whatnot. So the next thing we're gonna download is of course the factory image for our 7.1 preview. Of course, this will be on the developer.android.com forward slash preview website. Um, so all, we, all we're gonna do is scroll down and download the one for the Nexus 6P, codenamed Angler. I'm gonna download this. Of course, um, I do have a SHA hash checker if you'd like to check those, just to check that it's downloaded properly and you're not flashing corrupted files to your device, which is probably a bad thing. Uh, you can go ahead and download that program and check it. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm a little bit excited if you know what I mean. So. Um, Please excuse that squeaky noise if you can hear it, it's just uh, things opening outside. But the next thing we're gonna double check is that we're gonna have the latest version of TWRP, that is of course 3.0.2-2 at the time of recording. Please download the latest one for, uh, if it does come out within the preview area, but um, we might not see one until the full version is released later this year. And of course the last thing we wanna download is the latest version of SuperSU. Um, whatever one is on this page that it says, of course this changes as time changes, um, you're gonna to wanna to download that one because Having the latest one is probably the one that you want uh, to support the latest version of Android and all that. And usually it works just fine out of all these times I've done it. So once you have uh, these three or four files, so in this case I have the Android Tools zip file, the factory image here, and of course our latest version of SuperSU, we're gonna do a couple things here. First up, we're gonna, we can minimize our Chrome window here and we can open up our Android Tools zip, folder, uh, zip file. We're gonna uh, select all and extract all the files inside, or you can do a, a right-click extract and whatnot. So I'm just gonna just gonna close that now. And our factory image, we are going uh, we're going to open that. And what we're gonna do is extract pretty much all of this. So you can deselect these flash all dot bat sh and stuff. We'll just do that. You can hold Control to do that, and it just makes it a little bit cleaner to deal with. And we're going to extract all of these. Uh, I'm not sure if the bootloader or radio has updated or changed in this version, but um, I guess we'll have a look when our device goes into the bootloader. Or someone can comment down below or I can leave it in the description. So it's going to extract that and it's going to download, or sorry, copy it over to our Android folder. Um, there we are. And of course, from there we can, uh, of course, close this. We're going to open up this image angler npf10c zip file and we're going to extract the boot image, the recovery. Uh, not the recovery, sorry, the system and vendor images. We're gonna extract those out. Now I was reading that um, if your camera uh, view is a little bit dark or something, you just wanna flash the NVD90X uh, vendor image. Uh, well, I guess we'll see if that happens, but um, we're gonna flash the vendor image as usual uh, in this case. So let's do some multitasking while this is extracting and copying things. We're gonna go over to our device now and plug in our USB because we wanna copy over the latest version of SuperSU. If you already have it on your phone, uh, you probably you don't need to worry about this step, of course. But uh, as usual, you're gonna unlock it, you wanna scroll down, tap on USB charging this device to transferring files. And then on your computer, you should be able to see your uh, the shared internal storage pop up. If not, refresh uh, this PC or Nexus 6P. And you should be able to copy the um, latest version of SuperSU over to your device. So we're just gonna clean up our desktop for a little bit, uh, a little bit, and we're gonna close 
the image zip file. We're going to drag in our SuperSU zip to until it says copy to root of storage rather than in a folder or anything like that. We want it outside so it just copies to the bottom. Now um, this happens, you probably just want to reconnect your device. No problemo. I'm going to do the same steps of course, changing the USB mode and hopefully this allows us to copy it. If not, I already do have a copy on here but um, okay yeah. We'll see if we can copy it into a folder. I already have it here I think. Alright, so it looks like we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. Uh, it might be because, if you uh, just excuse me, I might test out something. Okay, that is alright. Um, you just want to copy it to your device. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really show you that at this point, but it would look a little something like this. Uh, just here in a folder or at the bottom of this uh, whole list here. I'm not sure what the dealio is with this. Um, it could be my USB cable. I'll just give it a go one more time, which would be bad because uh, these are new USB cables. I wouldn't want them breaking already. Oops. Um, USB for transferring files. I'll just try this one more time. Okay, yeah. I don't know what's wrong, but uh, you just got to copy the SuperSU zip over to your device, and we're going to start with the process now. So first off we're going to go back to our device once you've managed to copy it on your device. You want to hold power and power off. Unplug the USB cable as well just so our device doesn't reboot magically. Also oh, turn into that battery charging mode. So we're going to wait for our device to turn off. And once it does we're going to hold the power and volume down to get into the bootloader. Of course and uh, give that a couple of seconds and it should go there quite soon. Now sometimes this case doesn't really do well with button presses, uh, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully. Oh, there we are, okay. I just had to let go. So of course we're on the bootloader now, and of course we want to plug in our USB back into our device like so. Hopefully the commands work here because of um, me having problems copying stuff to the phone for some reason. So anyway, in this folder where we have our ADB executables and of course our fastboot executable, we're going to hold shift on the keyboard and click hit right click. Uh, make sure nothing is really nothing is highlighted here. And we're going to press on open command window here. Now that'll change the directory to our wherever our folder is, uh, which is pretty well very convenient. We're just going to resize this a little bit. And what we want to do is to flash all these images. So I'm going to check the bootloader. Um, it is 0361. And it looks like that means we, we need to update our bootloader. And our radio image is 0375, and of course that is an update as well. So you can see in the top two lines there that it, it does require updating. So to, that, uh, to, to flash these, all we've got to do is type in fastboot flash, and we'll do the bootloader first. Bootloader. Now leave a space on the end here, and then drag in our bootloader image onto the command prompt window, and then press enter. And that'll send it uh, the bootloader to our phone and flash that. And once that is done, we're going to type in. We're going to have to reboot our phone back into the bootloader uh, per se. So we're going to type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader, just like that. No space on the end. And we're going to hit enter. Our phone's going to reboot back into the bootloader very soon, like so. And we are going to flash the radio now. So we're going to type in fastboot flash flash radio. Leave a space in the end and drag in our radio image. Hit enter. And once that is done, uh, we're just going to reboot into the bootloader once more. So we're going to press the up arrow key on our keyboard twice, and that'll get us to our second previous command, which was that fast boot reboot dash bootloader command. We could just type it up again. We're going to hit enter, and our phone's going to reboot back into the bootloader once more. We can check that our bootloader is updated to 0362, and that is what we need. So now we're going to flash the rest of the images here. We're going to flash the boot image, type in fast boot flash boot. Leave a space in the end, drag in our boot image, hit enter. And next we're going to flash the system image. Uh, type in fast boot, flash, system, and drag that up there. Now this will take a little while because it's two and a, well, almost three gigabytes, 2.7 uh, gigabytes here. So this will take a, approximately a minute, a little bit more than a minute to actually flash itself onto our device. And little packets sort of thing.
So uh, I'll fast forward this until we finish flashing the system and then we'll go ahead and flash the vendor image and then wipe the cache. And then we're gonna get with the rooting process and then we should be on 7.1.1 rooted and uh, with all our data intact. So I'll be back when this finishes flashing. Alrighty, so we are finished flashing the system image, so we're going to move on to the vendor image. And of course, we're going to type in fastboot flash vendor, V N D O R. Leave a space in the end, of course, drag in our vendor image, hit enter on that thing, and this is going to, of course, take a lot less time than our system image, and we're going to flash the vendor. Um, so after this, we're going to format the cache. So I'm going to type in fastboot format cache, just like so and we're gonna leave it at that. So we're gonna go back to our device now, and this is when we're gonna boot into TWRP. So we're gonna use the volume buttons to navigate to the recovery mode, press the power button to select, and this, uh, our device will boot into TWRP, where it would ask us to maybe decrypt our data partition to access it. Uh, we'll see when that pops up. Sometimes there's a little bit of a delay between booting here and TWRP, but you know, this time it was pretty quick. So here, um, hopefully you're familiar with the screen. Uh, if not, this is just your lock screen pattern or your pin or password or a previous one if you haven't set one before. So uh, whatever your device was last encrypted with, you're going to want to enter that in. So that was just uh, my pattern. Uh, if you had a pin or a passcode, you probably want to enter that in as well. And of course, that is going to be AOK. -okay. And then we're going to go to install. Whoops. Uh, okay, yeah. So install and then navigate to wherever you copied your super SU folder. Now, once you decrypt your data partition, um, kind of like a quick tip, you can also access your internal storage from here and it just pops up. So if you want to copy anything over again, so I'll just give this one more go. Yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on, but um, yeah, you should be out, you'll be able to access your internal storage from TWRP as well. But anyway, uh, if you copied it, like I said in the first time where it didn't work for me, you should see it at the bottom of your SD card. So this is, we're in the SD card right now and it should be below your last folder. But since uh, I couldn't copy it, I'm just going to have to flash it from my ROMs folder. Now this is just the SR1 Super SU. I'm going to swipe to confirm flash. And that is going to install um, Super SU in a systemless mode where it's going to patch the boot image as well. So that helps, uh, helps you keep TWRP and allows for that systemless sim linking and all that. So um, uh, also, this important notice, our phone's going to be take a little bit longer to boot up as usual when installing uh, SuperSU. Now, I forgot to mention pretty much that, or well, nothing too bad, but if you want to install Magisk or something like that, I'm sure you can still do it here. But uh, I'm choosing to just flash the regular SuperSU. I'm going to tap on Reboot System. And from there, we should be able to move on. And this booting process may take a little bit longer as uh, described after flashing SuperSU, but in the end, hopefully we'll make it back up there and see if SuperSU works, along with uh, maybe some root apps such as Titanium Backup, and we'll see that we're on the 7.1.1 preview, which is exciting. A uh, few um, bad things, I guess, is the removal of night mode and that swipe up gesture for the multi-window. But now I guess um, we are one step closer to what the Pixel has to offer. So I guess uh, I'll be back when this finishes booting up. Alrighty, so we're back in the onto our phone pretty much, and it says we are enrolled in the beta program. Now, of course, that is not true. You don't have to be enrolled in the beta program to be able to, you know, flash the images and all that and use it. But uh, it's just saying that you're in beta software pretty much, and you can tap on OK. We can log in or unlock our phone. See, our launcher is still here. Uh, Action three, good old launcher. Some people have been asking about that, and um, our settings uh, has changed. We get our support thing. A little bit of a different suggestions menu, less lines. Um, well, this is all visual stuff, isn't it? See, we're on 7.1.1 on the NPF 10C, and of course, we're going to need to check out some root apps such as Titanium Backup. See, that's all done and dusted, that's all good, it's working. Uh, we have root access up there, and our Super SU app, we're just going to take a look down here. There he is, and you can see it all works as normal. Now, I'm not sure if Titanium Backup is the only one I have here, but I think your logs and stuff reset 
uh, when you download things like that. So there we are, it's working, it's working fine. Thank you very much guys for watching. I know this video has been, well, I haven't been doing much for a week, uh, but I only have one more exam left and that's next week. So uh, this is a video for this week and I'll be able to continue as per normal, have more videos like pumping those out um, next week. So thank you very much guys for sticking by and um, as always, I'll talk to you in the next one.